Uh, I'm Rachel. I'm Christella. I'm Buck. And I'm Clint. And we do a two man, two woman improvised awesomeness. Uh, <laughs> improv is theater uh, that is unscripted. We have nothing to begin with but an audience suggestion. And from there, we'll go into uh, interesting monologues, dueling monologues, scenes that are scenes like you might see out of a play with characters, plot, raising the stakes. Yeah, we were, we were, we were, um, we understand that a lot of short form improv, a lot of improv is absurd relationships, and we wanted to see what would happen if you put real relationships at the heart of the scenes, and so the interactions between men and women uh, and, and all of those uh, combinations uh, are very important to us. That's why we have dueling monologues and then structured yeah. scenes so that every relationship gets a voice. We've been uh, together since uh, August. We started rehearsing in August. Um, and Christella was a new improviser then, and now mm -hmm. she's been, we just went to our first festival at the, yeah, da Dallas, the Dallas, Dallas Comedy Festival, Festival at the yeah. Dallas Comedy House. Uh, in Dallas. In Dallas. Mm -hmm. Dallas, um, Dallas. So <laughs> well, we, we all take workshops, we, we, we all looking at improving. Um, we, set the, we, we took away the net by saying we can only have two people in each scene. So in a lot of places people can tag in and tag out. We said, okay, you're just up there for five minutes mm -hmm. at least, and it's gonna be real. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and then we, we have a little bit of music in between, because that's just, something that we like to do. Mm -hmm. uh, so all this from a word that you like to say. We are the ones your mother warned you what's it, uh, So what's it, what's it like being an actress coming into this? Oh, yeah. And well, doing this now, at this level. Like right, I, because I started off in acting and I came to IFO to do some workshops um, to see how that would influence my acting and instead I got bitten by this bug and I was like, ooh, good long form. Because I'd only ever seen crap long form. So when I saw good long form, I was like, ooh, I maybe want to do that. Um, but it's it's really interesting to create something spur of the moment that is uh, not given to you, that is not scripted to you. Um, so you're not only casting yourself, you're writing your own script, you are, and then, and then digging into the reality of the situation. So it's a great challenge as an actor. And, and as an actor coming into it, I got lucky because I jumped into the deep end of the pool with th three of the best improvers in the city. So I didn't have to like fight it out in the short form games. I just got to come in. So I'm really, really mm -hmm. lucky. And I'm really fortunate that um, I'm really excited about where we hopefully will take it. You know, like mess with the form a little bit, see what see what the future holds and and um, see what's around the bend because that's mm -hmm. cool stuff. This is not the end of the ones your mother wants you. Thank you. Veronica, where are the glasses? Hell if I know. We should look at this house more closely. What? That's why we don't have any glasses. You keep breaking things. <laughs> you know, you could show a little more respect for mortals and their things. <laughs> Give your tibby, give you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's me, I'm a small magical creature. You know, when you mumble, I can still read your mind, okay? <laughs> 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 you know what I miss? Your mother. Sunlight. <laughs> Kush. You know what I miss? Not being able to see myself in any of the shiny things in the house. Kush. You're beautiful. I wouldn't know. You're, you're, when, the, when the moon strikes your face, you're, you hey, sparkle. Can you see yourself in this? No, you can't! But I know who I am, Veronica! I'm a, I'm a middle-aged vampire! Yeah, yeah, you're like 400, 500 years old, you found yourself, you've been through your crisis, you bought a Corvette, you bit a couple of young things, it's great. <laughs> Don't give me that. But you've always been my daughter, and it's... You shouldn't have let them bite you. No, you shouldn't have let them bite me. You shouldn't have let them bite you. I am permanently petulant now. <laughs> Perfectly preserved in the status that I existed in when I was bitten, which is 17, hormonal, and ticked off. Goddamn <laughs> <laughs> Van Helsing! Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should have seen your mother. You should have there seen... Was... Fine, sorry. She was hurling crosses. She was hurling crosses at him and the bones of his friends. And, and when she stomped, the earth quaked. And he just hit her with a lucky shot from that state gun. That is unfair. Now, what I was going to say was that I was angry that you were not there to stop him. I'm angry at you. I'm very good at expressing it. I am angry at you because you did not save my mom. She was a fantastic vampire. Her makeup was always perfect. 
She didn't have a mirror. Her makeup was always perfect. She could smell garlic from a mile away. She could turn into a bat, and you know what? It was a cool bat, not one of those that like infested with lice and things. She was a great vampire. You know what it was? You were a middleman. You were the kind of guy who thought vacationing in Texas was an awesome idea. <laughs> been a fighter. Your mother was always the fighter, but those hunters, they get, you're set, they don't let up, and your mother knew that. She sacrificed herself so that we could be there. And I got lonely, and I, I didn't want you to leave me too, so I made you a mortal. Sorry. You are not forgiven. <coughs> Will you at least wear that nice dress of your mother's to the party? <laughs> Count's bringing his nephew. I know what you feel about him. I can Freaking hate it that you can read my <laughs> mind! <laughs> oh, get out! Get out of my mind! Oh, okay, okay. I, I won't read your mind. Fine, I'll do it. <laughs> and I'll even let you have a little bit of book. I love you eternally! <laughs> Kids. <laughs> We're about, uh, the 10 o'clock show's about to start here at OKC Improv. The four of us, plus Stephanie Beidelschbach, the, the, the preeminent musical improviser in the city. She plays for everything. Um, we do Villain the Musical. It's an improvised mm -hmm. musical. It's all four of us, um, plus her on piano. And she sings at the same time. So mm -hmm. she lives in an improv world that mm -hmm. is even yeah. beyond what we have. So in about five minutes, uh, we're getting ready to warm up and then uh, eventually go out on stage and perform an improvised musical, just like you would go to a theater, see an awesome musical with funny songs and choreography and crazy cast members. A plot. A plot, <laughs> a plot is important. Uh, Occasionally. We're going to present all of that to those people out there. I but hope the, they love it. We haven't written anything. Yeah, we haven't written anything. It's almost a packed house out there. Correct. We don't know what we're gonna do. Oh, we out. should write, we should it's write. Sold it's sold out. It's sold out. Ah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, we should be Sorry. giving the, um, I hope you like danger. I hope you like death. I hope you're not scared of strangers. Until your last breath. It's villain. It's villain. It's villain. It's villain the musical. Ain't it thrilling? It's thrilling. It's thrilling. It's thrilling the musical. And you can see why we love that. Thank you for coming out. Thanks. We hope that you see us. You can look up the mother, the ones your mother warned you about at theonesimprov.com. That's a good one. You can look and up Villain at uh, facebook.com slash villainthemusical. Or okcimprov.com. Thank you uh, for uncovering Oklahoma. Oklahoma is a cool place to be. Oklahoma uh, City especially. Uh, Sorry, I'm biased. I'm from here. From the city. From the city. City of OKC. Oklahoma City. <laughs> <laughs> that does not yeah. rhyme well. But uh, so. our last show was, this was one of our, we just came out of a show that we think is one of our best. Yeah. So. Absolutely. If not yeah. the, one of the best. It's an awesome high. Yeah. It, it's, uh, and, and, and it's a, there's nothing illegal about it. Right. That's great. Which, yeah, completely you, legal. Yeah. Yeah. You, and now you know why I've been doing this for 10 yeah, years. Yeah. And, you like, know, and you know it when it's happening from that first beat. Mm -hmm. I knew it. Uh -huh. From that mm -hmm. first beat. Absolutely knew it. Do you know what I was thrilled about? Guys, there and here. Do you know what I was thrilled about? Like yeah, the background this is, information. This is okay. uh, there were nine people in the audience from a big birthday party who that was their first experience of improv ever. They had never seen Who's Line. They had never seen anybody else from improv. They went, "Oh, it's improv," and we said, "Oh, it's where we make stuff up." Uh, and then they came and saw us and saw real characters, real people, things that were really funny and their little minds were blown. They were all outside, just giant grins on their faces because we would. they said, oh, you would do things that were so sweet and so sincere, and then you would do something crazy and absurd and it made me laugh. Uh, so that's what we're about. Sweetly, sincerely, absurd. Absurd. Yep. Check us out. Check us out. Uh, later. Bye. Thank you.